Are you considering Zola for anxiety after childbirth? Today we're talking about nine herbal alternatives that are safe while breastfeeding to help with postpartum anxiety. We'll discuss four different symptoms you may be experiencing and how the herbs may change for you based on your symptoms. So if that sounds good to you, keep watching. Hey mama, I'm Tara Gregorio, certified woman's herbal educator and mama of twins. And on this channel, you'll find natural remedies for both women and children's health. I've helped hundreds of women integrate natural remedies and now it's your turn. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of my new video each Tuesday. After having twins, I struggled with postpartum depression and anxiety as well. And here are the steps I took to overcome anxiety. In order for botanicals to work for you for anxiety or depression, you want to look at five factors of your health. Number one, do you have any um, vitamin deficiencies such as vitamin D or B12 or magnesium? How is your adrenal health? So if you're feeling stressed, you're probably tapped out in your adrenals. How is your gut health? How is your sleep? How is your stress? And are you breastfeeding? Because the herbs may change if you're breastfeeding or if you're not. So keep that in mind. So many women turn to Zoloft to take the edge off to help relax a little bit, but realize there are some complaints of taking it. They still have insomnia. Some women still have insomnia. There's an inability to have an orgasm. Their head feels heavy and jittery in their skin. They, it works well for a while and then out of nowhere the symptoms return. And then it could take years to taper off. So keep in mind it does work for some women, but for other women it may have these adverse effects. And it may take a long time to come off the medications. But if you need it, always contact your doctor right away to get started. So it certainly is stressful to raise children. Here is what you can do to overcome anxiety naturally, especially if you're breastfeeding. Number one, address your adrenal health. So your adrenals are the two small glands that sit on top of your kidneys and they produce hormones, especially cortisol. And when you're under stress, when you're not sleeping, raising children, and especially during COVID-19 right now, you produce um, more cortisol bursts into your bloodstream. This can give you spikes in the middle of the night, causing you to wake up out of nowhere and feel shocked and have ideas of the baby falling out of bed or you know crazy ideas due to the stress and your adrenal overload. Adrenal depletion would cause brain fog, low energy, depressive mood, craving, salt and sweet, lightheadedness, and other vague symptoms. So the best thing you can do, self-care is a really tough word for some women, but is to do something for yourself every single day. So whether it's meditation, breathing, walking, exercising with your baby, taking a long bath with magnesium, try to provide a little bit of self-care every day for your body. Number two, check your vitamin levels. Again, we talked about vitamin D, magnesium, and B vitamins typically are low after childbirth. Check your gut health. Number three, your gut-brain connection. You know when we say we have butterflies in our stomach or you get diarrhea when you're nervous? So there is a connection between your gut health and what's going on with your anxiety and depression. I wouldn't be surprised if you get bloating, constipation, or diarrhea because your gut health, the integrity of your microbiome, is also what is affecting anxiety and depression, so keep that in mind. If you want to learn more about gut health, actually put a yes below so that I know that is something that you need. And then sleep. Your sleep may have been disrupted. Mine was disrupted for many, many years. My children are now seven and finally sleeping through the night. I have twins. So your sleep is disrupted for years and years and years. To get you back on track, you want to take herbs that help you go to sleep faster and stay to sleep longer if you're not getting interrupted by children, of course. So the different symptoms that women experience is irritability and weakness, depression and irritability, depression and anxiety, and depression and insomnia. So the herbs will change based on your specific symptoms. So let me know in the area below what are your specific symptoms that you're reaching out for Zoloft to cure. So the nine herbs for anxiety and stress would be passion flower. Passion flower you can take as a tea or a tincture. So say you make a cup of tea, it could have chamomile and passion flower in it. 
You could add a tincture of something else and then that would be your nourishing tea blend for the day. So passion flower you could take as a tincture or a tea. Matthew Wood, master herbalist, says use passion flower to cut out any internal chatter. Makes it an excellent herb to use when you need quality sleep but you need to get things done. So some herbs put you fast to sleep and keep you tired like chamomile may for some people. Other herbs help you relax but they don't put you to sleep. So you could take passion flower during the day to ease your nerves but not put you fast to sleep. Number two, skull cap. Soothes the nerves without slowing you down. Again, very similar to passion flower. You could add skull cap into your tea blend or look for tea blends with skull cap and passion flower. Again, they'll soothe your nervous system without um, creating exhaustion for you. Stinging nettles. This could be your one nourishing blend that you would take every single day. Honestly, I would do a full herbal tea of stinging nettles, milky oats, and raspberry leaf during the postpartum time. You could let it steep overnight for eight hours and then you would drink that throughout the day. So stinging nettles are very nourishing and can help with irritability and weepiness and just provide the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that your body needs during the postpartum time. It also acts as a gentle adaptogen, soothing your body, soothing your adrenal glands, and bringing you back to restore your health. Number four, chamomile. Chamomile is the first herb given to women in Croatia after they've endured childbirth. So it soothes mama's nerves, but it also helps children, helps them with belly aches, helps them with fevers, helps them to sleep better. So when you're looking to enhance your sleep, and maybe you're slightly depressed as well, chamomile can help with that. Chamomile and lavender, the next herb I would take at night because they are slight sedatives, so they would really help you restore your sleep. So take a bit of chamomile and lavender tea at night, or make a cup of chamomile tea and put a tincture of lavender in it to help you go fast asleep. Alternatively, you could add lavender essential oil on your body, on your pillow to help restore your sleep as well. Number six, St. John's wort. So watch this video if you're breastfeeding and have concerns about St. John's wort. But St. John's wort is considered a level two, level three in safety while breastfeeding, but it's a well-known herb for postpartum depression. So if you're not taking medication for depression, then you may be able to integrate St. John's wort. Always check with your doctor first. So it's the number one adverse reaction is when you're adding St. John's wort along with medication that you're already currently taking for depression. So just keep that in mind. But you can integrate it if you're feeling like you're a little bit depressed or you may want to take it in a blended tincture. So I talk about it in this video, so go ahead and watch that if you're feeling a little bit of depression. Number seven, motherwort is amazing for irritability and anxiety. It's very bitter, so you would want to take it in a tincture format. You could take it in a tincture blend as well. So motherwort would be my go-to postpartum tincture for anxiety, stress, heart palpitations, and for everything you're gonna need for years and years to come. So motherwort is an amazing blend postpartum and beyond, especially during our menopausal years as well. Number eight, blue vervain for irritability, weepiness, and depression. Blue vervains have very talkative minds, so this would be a sure sign you need blue vervain. You talkative minds, you might even talk out loud to yourself. You might feel like everything has to be in control and perfect and your house is super neat and clean, even though you have small children. So blue vervain is for you if you tend to feel overwhelmed. You can take it in a tea or as a tincture. So again, you can make a cup of tea and add these tinctures in to help soothe your stress and ease anxiety. And number nine, I would say milky oat tops. So nettles, stinging nettles and milky oat tops are amazing postpartum blends that you could put together. Milky oat tops can help with soothe your nervous system, ease the tension, but it's best if it's taken in teas for long periods of time. So you wouldn't want to take it just today to soothe your nerves. I would take motherwort for immediate help, but oats you could take in a tea blend for several days in a row, you know, for years to come, and that would soothe your nervous system. 
So if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you, please share it with a girlfriend and don't forget to subscribe and like this video so I know to make more videos just like it. Don't forget to grab your postpartum recovery checklist below so that you can recover from pregnancy faster each and every time. Thank you. See you next Tuesday.